What's up, everybody? <gasps> it's your boy Uchi, and um, back again. Once again, how y'all doing today? So, what is going on, everyone? It's your boy Uchi, and if my voice sounds a little bit scratchy, it's because I just got back home from a very fun, fulfilled weekend at Frosty Fostings, and that is why we are a tad bit late to the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot party. Because if you couldn't tell what this thing is, this is actually my collector's edition of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot that I had mentioned to you guys online earlier within this month that it was official that I am definitely getting my own uh, copy of the collector's edition so that way we can go in and unbox this, review it, see how the statue looks and give it my, my take on it and then you know kind of I guess talking right about what's gonna go on with the channel and that game in particular because I know that everyone's been playing and everyone's having their feelings about it but it's time to add a little bit of that Uchi flavor so of course stay tuned right after this let's get <laughs> like Attack on Titan, Dragon Ball Super, Dr. Stone, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, well those are just a few of the several different hundreds of anime selections that you can watch for free with my trial code for Funimation Now. All you gotta do is click that link in the description below and check out Funimation Now for a free 14 day trial period to enjoy all of these anime and many many more. That's Funimation Now by using the link in the description below. All right, so actually before I open this, um, let me dress the part really quick, just... Okay, that's a little better. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm repping this Kakarot looking... Well, why am I saying Kakarot? It's, it's, it's freaking Goku, all right? Anyway, we're about to get right into this unboxing real quick. I got this big old box. I didn't really think it was gonna be this big. Damn, this is huge. <laughs> so actually the tape, I should probably do it with my hands. Oh, yeah. Oh wow, so <laughs> the box is deceiving because it's actually a lot smaller than the box that it comes in. Lots of stuffing, more stuffing. Ooh, this box is looking pretty swole. Wow. <laughs> this. That shit is fire. All right. So this box is definitely gonna be one of those boxes that you don't wanna throw out. Obviously being a collector's edition, you want to collect, keep, and you know, keep it in good condition. Well, that's the front. This is the side, see the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot collector's edition. And then there's the back, so this is exactly what we're gonna be looking at. We're going to be getting the full game, of course. We're going to be getting the exclusive diorama 8x8x8 by by inches. Now that statue looks dope. That is, I don't know if you really see that picture, but it is Goku and little mini Gohan. Not mini, but you know, he's baby Gohan. Going on on the Nimbus, that dragon or whatever the hell that thing is, that dinosaur that shows up in their, the, the earth that they're at right now. Got the hardcover game art book, so I'm looking forward to looking through that art book. Collectible steel book. Now, not noticeably, no soundtrack. So, you know, I'm always looking out for these soundtrack when it comes to these collector's editions in video games. One of those things that they did not include, at least that's what the the outer layer of this says. I'm trying really careful not to. Ooh. Wow, so as soon as you open it, you're already introduced to the steel book. Now, this, this is fresh. See that? Ooh, we got the Dragon Balls in the back. Yo, that's nice. They shine in the light. So again, this is a collector steel book, so there's nothing in here, but you know, you can put the disc in and any other papers that you might want to throw in here if you know if you like. You might just have this as like a desk prop, which for the time being, I'm going to have on in the background. Here is the actual game i got the ps4 version this is also available on steam and xbox one okay now this piece lifts up now i believe this right here within this little cardboard piece is the actual um art book let me put the box aside right here to the side in the background right there. okay as i open up the rest of this stuff so the box just opens up like right on this flap and it should just kind of slide out like so Wow, this is this is the game art book. 
Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. So, not gonna go through all of it, but I will give you guys a little bit of a tease. Oh, we got a little note from Akira Toriyama-san. Okay, hold on, I will read this. I, I will definitely read this for you guys. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is an action RPG full of the Dragon Ball universe. It includes backstories that haven't been told in the manga, and I'm sure fans will truly be able to take a deep dive into the world. I'm sure... I just read that line, excuse me. It's a fresh new take on the franchise as you relive the moment where Goku discovers his Saiyan bloodline and birth name, Kakarot. Experience the battles as they grow to become more and more unrelenting and fierce through cutting edge game visuals. I hope you enjoy the game. And that was from the author himself, Mr. Akira Toriyama. And of course, this is literally the Tori message uh, emblem that he always attaches to whenever he includes his own little uh, note for us, the fans. So that way uh, we know he definitely had his approval for the game but you know we're gonna talk about that in probably another video but i definitely wanted to just wow dude this is nice i, I definitely wanted to just do this unboxing review the contents within this so uh, speaking of contents we have a contents page right over here page one of course the akira toriyama message that's kind of funny how contents includes something that comes before the actual contents page that's whatever Got the relation chart on page four character chapter page 12 and page 38 is the world guide so I wonder, let's say if we can actually skip to page 38. So I'm actually skimming and all the way to the end. So this is literally a 51, 52 page um, art book on the game art book. And as you can see, this is actually like what a lot of the world will look like. Okay, so yeah, like I'm kind of giving you guys little glimpses of this so that way you can get an idea of exactly, you know, what you can expect. I'm not going to go through each and every single freaking page. But, oh, oh man, we got character designs. Yeah, look, we got our boy Vegeta. We'll go, we'll go with Vegeta even though this is a Kakarot video, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay. You idiot! How could you? That's all we'll go over with this, obviously, out of respect to them. Um, we're not fully reviewing this or showing it all off because it's weird when you, you want to show off, like, book-related content because I don't, I feel like you're not allowed to show everything it's weird but anyway let us now get to the main big portion of this unboxing which i believe is the actual statue okay now this statue is eight by eight by eight so you could just tell by the box that this thing comes in man we got this big box that came in a huger box that came we had this inside it, so there's three boxes in total. But this is obviously what makes most of the um, entire set in itself. It's not even wrapped, but the bottom is sealed with some tape um, for your own protection, not for individual resale. So they do have that on the bottom. Not really sure if that matters for most people because I'm sure if you look on eBay, this John is worth however much it's worth right now. A little flap on the top. Now, these parts do have some tape on this, so I'm actually gonna cut this with a USB. Flip this sucker open, like so. Oh wow, they really, damn, they made sure even the sides were, were sealed shut. Okie dokie. All right, open it up, got some more flaps to go through. Some white pieces that are covering what is encasing the statue in like a plastic. I'm gonna try and use my legs here to Hold it in place so I can pull it out. Now I'm gonna try and be as careful as possible because I don't know if it's gonna fall apart. I've been wrapping this and sealing it pretty well so far, so I hope not. Damn, lots of boxes. I'm gonna take a guess that you can kind of just do one of these guys. Yup. Wow, this is dope. And then the bottom piece will just come right off as well. It doesn't seem like there's gonna be that much assembly to it, which is nice. Of course, these. This whole thing is encased in two pieces of plastic that's held together by tape. So, of course, like, you just gotta have something nearby to break the tape. Or you can peel it, never float your boat. I'm gonna be as gentle as possible while applying some kind of force. Wait, let's check the tops. Yup, they, yo, not gonna lie, this is all part of the review. They did a very fantastic job sealing this guy completely keeping it as protected as possible i do respect that i definitely respect that yep all all corners were sealed okay 
Oh yeah, all right, this is the part where you have to definitely be careful, okay? So, once all the tape is broken, it's even, like, collapsed. They're not even collapsed, but, like, there's, like, grooves with, like, these cylinder edges that kind of snap together to hold them in place for that extra security. All right, and I already can tell some of the pieces are falling out because as soon as the seal is broken, the power is out of control. <laughs> So here's the first piece that almost uh, fell out of my grasp. This is actually the Goku and Gohan on the Nimbus. This is actually really cool. And the effect of, um, you can tell the, the, the effect on this uh, little figure part is, you know, obviously the wind is blowing. So Goku's hair is actually spiked in uh, the reverse. There we go. You can see that detail right there. You can see his, his hair is blowing the wind. Got Gohan in there, like, he's like, Whoo, Whoo, on that Nimbus. This is very cool. I like this. I can't wait to put it all together for you guys. The dinosaur is actually falling underneath. So here's, here goes the dinosaur. Wow, this guy got some weight to him. Holy crap. Hold on, I'll show you guys this. I'll, I'll show them to you in a second. Something fell. Oh, oh, I think, I believe this is part of the Nimbus. So it gives it that, like, zooming effect in the air once we put it all together you guys will exactly you guys will know exactly what i'm talking about and then this is the base piece that is wrapped with extra plastic on top of plastic i'm just checking to see if there's any little knickknacks that might come with this <laughs> guys i'm actually gonna take a picture right now of how much boxage and cardboard is literally surrounding my immediate um floor right now this is kind of crazy all right, so check this out. So this is the dinosaur. Wow. That detail is pretty spot on for, you know, a statue like this for a collector's edition. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like, there is weight to this guy. Um, the limbs don't move or anything like that. They, I, will, I will say, though, the leg that I was just messing with, um, uh, we'll get into there. I'm just showing you the whole 360 view. So this leg, it looks like it does move, but I can assure you guys that the, this is a statue meant for it to just kind of stay in place. There's a foot holder right here um, at the foot. Um, the spikes, they're not like, you know, they're not very sharp. The top is actually a lot more sharper. This level of detail is OD and I appreciate it. All right, let me show you guys the platform that this is on. This is so dope because I've never really like had any kind of like Dragon Ball Z or like Really, not a lot of statue collectibles. I've I've had figures and like you know toys in the past when like when I was a kid and everything like that. But I never was really a big collector nowadays. I mean, it seems like I'm starting to be. But this is like my first big, I guess, addition to my small collection that I have right now. I have a few a few of the, um, I have I have a few of the uh, the not the SH figure art, but like some of the the Dragon Ball Super ones. I got like uh, Super Saiyan God Goku and Vegeta along with this full power Broly and the other Broly, right? But th that's it. And I haven't even unboxed these yet, but I will in a future video. So stay tuned for that. Um, but no, let me also show you like the um so when i hope you noticed when i was turning this all around like so you you basically get like a good amount of a little bit of everything from what you would expect from like um like the world of dragon ball z which is like you know a lot of mount mountain areas you know a lot of grass plainy areas and then like right over here right up here over here this is actually where the city's at i don't know if that's exactly west city but then of course we got like this water area and like the arctic zone so like this is actually like basically like the world map of dragon ball z all within this one little plateau statue john and i'm very impressed i like the detail it looks really cool like the closer you are to it it actually looks um really dope oh yeah so you can i, mean, I don't know like i don't, I don't even want to like mess around with this too much but like the way it feels and everything is actually crazy like, this is this is definitely worth however freaking much money i spent on this this was like i think around 200 but like this was it was definitely under 200 i can actually double check for you guys really quick because i actually get, did get mine off of best buy not from bandai not from gamestop and definitely not from amazon because they were sold out completely <laughs> Oh wow, so, okay, so it is actually $200, that's crazy. Cool thing about Best Buy though that I will say, and this is not something that they put me up to, but you do have an option of paying, you have like a monthly plan, um, if you wanna go that way to kinda spread out the, um, 
the payment so that way it doesn't like hurt you like it's like two hundred dollars is a lot of money so they do have that option i don't know if gamestop really has that option unless you have like their their credit card or anything like that but not to get too heavy into that best buy seems like they still have them in stock so if you guys are looking to get yourself a collector's edition then head over to best buy now let's assemble this right after these messages do you like anime do you like japanese inspired things do you like clothes i'm sure you like to stay warm well i got this stuff for you introducing imori.com a website that introduces anime and japanese inspired styled clothing made in-house and you can use the code Uchi15 to save yourself 15% off of all these cool, dope hats, beanies, hoodies, t-shirts, sweatpants, and way more where that came from. That's Uchi15 at checkout to save yourself 15% off your entire order at Imori.com. Alright, so if I'm going to reference the picture, the dragon, this dinosaur, I call it a dragon, I don't know why I'm calling it a dragon, it's definitely a dinosaur. So the dinosaur is going on this side, and then the Nimbus and Goku and Gohan are going on the opposite side. So this is a pretty quick and easy tutorial how to set this one up for you guys. Okay, so let's do this dude first. By the way, this doesn't actually come with directions at all. This is kind of like one of those things where you just kind of have to use common sense it does snap in it does go in all the way so if you are curious as to oh like do i have to put a lot of pressure in you know a little bit of pressure at the feet area just to keep it safe right and then um it's probably a lot easier if you do it like on uh on like a surface not like how i'm trying to do it off of my hand okay and then the hole for where the nimbus part goes is actually up in the mountains hidden in the mountains so that's actually a very nice uh design feature there kind of keep everything as hidden as possible to give it that effect that we're looking for all right and this also does go all the way down okay so i what i was doing if you i don't know if you guys really saw but i was kind of like twisting it and stop <laughs> all right and then last but not least this is probably gonna be the easiest part is the zoom effect of the nimbus it kind of just goes right on the back here and voila and there you have it this is the entire statue that does come with the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot Collector's Edition. This is pretty much what you're paying for, this level of quality and just the way everything looks and how it came out. How crisp and awesome it looks is actually OD. I'm very impressed, didn't really expect this to be, you know, one of those things that I would be all about because it's not gonna lie, I don't fall for the whole statue collector edition type of games really. Like I know that those are things that are offered um, a lot and you know and it's very often you see that in video games nowadays especially for like anime games but this one for some reason i honestly i i didn't really get this for the statue i got this because i was so excited going into just playing the game that i was just like dude i need this right so it's gonna be chilling right there for the time being so that was just chilling in the background really quick i think there is actually something else if i open up the actual uh, case of the game there actually might be something else that's included you always got to check just to make sure as a little bonus content piece hold on we're gonna get that fresh game smell in three two one <sighs> never fails and yeah it's just a disc nothing nothing comes inside it you guys want to see what the disc looks like it's pretty much just the cover of the game all right guys so there you have it that is literally everything that came with the collector's edition we got the collectible steelbook case that has nothing in it it's just literally there for, for collectors purposes we got the game official game art book behind me of course the game itself obviously and then the biggest piece of this entire puzzle is the um, diorama 8 by 8 by 8 Dragon Ball Z statue. Of course, this is like one of those like, iconic scenes like straight out of the opening of Dragon Ball Z. And like I said, it's really dope. I like it. Would I say it's worth it? Hell freaking yeah. I'm actually pretty happy and I do love me some art books. And the one other thing that I feel like would make this whole set way more complete is just um, ha including the soundtrack. I'm a really big um, fan of soundtracks and I feel like that's definitely something that's 
of some importance to me. Um, I don't know if there's a lot of people out there that really are as fond as I am of soundtracks, but I mean, soundtracks normally do come with a lot of collector's editions, and not even like these like big bundled, you know, collector's editions that are like $200 plus or le a little bit less. Soundtracks are really fundamental, and I'm surprised that they didn't include this with this, but either way, I'm very happy with this, and um, I'm pretty happy that um, I'll have a new set piece for my desk here, because I guess it kind of looks good where it's at. I'll probably just put it closer to the wall there so that way you can see it. Um, but right now I do have that Broly in the background. So we'll be unboxing some more statues um, in the near future. As far as the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot content goes, you can definitely expect to see um, some gameplay footage um, in the parts um, sectioned off by, I believe, I'm gonna probably try and go for 25 minutes each just because I've tried doing playthroughs with Pokemon in the past and just uploading my entire stream sessions really doesn't attract too many people to want to click on the video um so yeah i mean that's you know a uh, reminder if you haven't hit the like button already please please do so that way er everyone else around youtube can check out this full review of the dragon ball z kakarot collector's edition and that's pretty much it guys so let me know what you guys thought about it. if you have any questions please we'll go ahead and fill up that comment section down below like share subscribe hit me up on twitter all that good stuff all the socials and how you can support this channel directly are of course always going to be in the description below take care of yourselves have a good one may the power protect you keep it locked loaded right here on the Uchi Games channel and i will see y'all next